Hello and a great big welcome to you. Praise the Lord. You know, I'm glad you decided to join us. 3ABN Family Worship. It's an exciting time. Sabbath is just beginning. I'm, I'm sure you're gathering your, your family around you and you're getting your Bible and you're, you're going to study with us. It's, a, it's part three. Very exciting subject. At least it's been to us here who have been studying it. Mm -hmm. We're going to be talking about as it in the days of Noah. And we have found so many different parallels. The things that happened then, as God said, that's enough. Mm -hmm. And I look at them today and I'm saying, I think it's, it's soon that God's going to say, that's enough. That's right. And Amen. we need to be ready for that day. So we're going to get into that study. Again, we're glad that you decided to join us. You have a lot of choices, I understand, but we're glad that you chose 3ABN. Thank Amen. you for joining us here. Amen. Honey, what, let's introduce all those that are going to help us again. We're so grateful and thankful for all the help that God sends oh, us. Always, uh, always. We couldn't do it ourselves. We no. know that. Yes, okay. <laughs> I do Good. know that. Okay. Uh, you could, I could. No, I'm turning it over to you. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, well, before I begin, I just want to thank those of you at home because you've many of you have gone online and left some comments. They've mm -hmm. been so encouraging. And one of them said, yay, because last time on part two, we announced there would be a part three. Mm -hmm. And you're like, yay, a part three. So I just yeah. am very excited when we read those mm -hmm. comments and, and realize that, that you're taking time to study with us. I want to encourage you to share those, share those with your family and friends online. Mm -hmm. Well, to my left is Sister Linda and her husband, Eddie Clark. Yes. And it's always good to have you. They're the right arm of the God Gospel. They're go. in the health work. Amen. And if I jump right over here, yes. we're going to go to Brother Eric. He is one of the engineers here. And Sister Marilyn, you're, she's the head of the call center. Yes. So I imagine, uh, you probably don't answer too many calls though, do you? Mm, no. You just, over it. Yeah. <laughs> just oversee everything. Yep, oversee. So that, that's kind of everything in a really small nutshell. Mm -hmm. That's a, that's a good one. That's that's good. Yeah, <laughs> praise the Lord. Well, we need to have prayer and then begin because again, the more that I look at this lesson, more that I've studied it over uh, years, like everybody else has, I see new things mm. and, and things that's happening in the world today that just says, "Oh, that's the truth. You've got a hold of that truth and, and and keep it and keep it going out there so the people can be warned." of what's taking place. And when you see these things, you're like I am. I say, ooh, that, that's Bible prophecy. Jesus is soon to come. So we want to be ready for that. Mm -hmm. Let's have prayer, shall we? Brother Eddie, how about you? Would you pray for us, please, as we sure. begin? Let's bow our heads, shall we? Our dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for your love for us. Mm -hmm. We thank you for this time you've set aside for us to yes. draw closer to you. Mm -hmm. As we enter these Sabbath hours, Amen. we always want to remember everything you've done for us from the creation of the world mm. to the plan of salvation. Amen. To the wonderful sacrifice that your son has made for us. Amen. Please continue to draw us closer to you. And as we study this topic today, may the Holy Spirit reside heavily on mm. us. Amen. And those that are watching. Amen. May all of our hearts be touched. Amen. Yes. May we all be ready to go home mm -hmm. with you soon one day. We pray in Christ's name. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. You know, uh, just a couple of points I think might, might be nice for us. Sometimes it's, you know, if you, if you look at when the programs are aired and so on, sometimes we forget what we've covered, but we realize that we've done two parts previous to this mm -hmm. is the third mm -hmm. on, on this program. So I want to just go over just five or six little quick points. Just I've jotted them down here and say that we've studied this because people a lot of times uh, when you get on the third part, they'll say, what about this and this and this? And they, they miss those parts, but I know that they can get them if they want, really want them, can't they? Right. Okay. But we, as in the days of Noah, uh, start out with, I jotted down interesting G uh, Genesis chapter six, God saw that the wickedness of man was great and his heart was on evil continually. Maybe that's the starting point as we talk about this subject matter. God just looked down. He saw the wickedness of man as he looks today. He looks, I'm sure he says the same thing, the wickedness of this world. And one of these days his cup will be full and that will be it. Point number two, it says it reaches a height. That there's a time that destruction was pronounced. So there's a time that God's going to say, as probation closes, we'll talk more about that in a thick, when we take off today, that, that kind of, God says, that's it. Probation is going, is ended, and that's going to be it. And so God looked at the world and said, this is it. I think he's looking at the world today, said, you know, we, we look, say, how much more evil can it get? It's going to. Mm. Then we came into the point, where I, I was thankful in our lesson about Enoch. You know, you wonder, if you think about him, God's people like him will seek purity 
So as we're waiting for Jesus to come and all these things are happening, we need to be thinking about our life and our relationship with Him and how we need to be pure. And only Christ can help us do that as He lives inside of us Amen. in our heart. And then also like Enoch, we have an obligation. We have a mission is to warn the world of the second coming of Jesus. And I, I love that part. And I think we have an obligation there. And then we're to warn of the judgments. I, I don't know, but I, I sense that they're falling in the world right now. Amen. Right. A lot of them have, and they've been falling for a long time. And there seem to be, don't you see, they're increasing. That's right. Because yes. we're looking, with, as, as in the days of Noah, yes. they increased, the warning increased, the intensity of the warning increased. And I see it right now taking place and happening right now. So I would say is in our lesson brought out, another storm is coming. Mm -hmm. Are we really ready for that storm? We prepare for an earthly storm, but are we prepared for what is really, you know, when, when a storm is coming and the, 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 the weatherman gets out there and says, oh, this is happening, we get the sandbags out. We start boarding the windows and so on and so forth. We're saying Jesus is coming. We need to be looking in the mirror. Are we ready to meet him? Amen. So it talks about the sin, I put point seven, the sins that call for every the one upon the, uh, that fell upon the antediluvian world exists today. No. That was something I thought about as we studied. Mm -hmm. Same things went on then that caused the destruction of the world is happening right now. They exist now. The four, first Timothy 4, 1 just said, just a couple words of it. The spirit speaketh expressly. It's speaking clearly. The spirit of God is speaking clearly what is taking place mm -hmm. in the world. And so we pray that God will help us as we finish out this third part, mm -hmm. will help us to maybe ring a bell in somebody's heart and life that hasn't made that decision, that realize this is, this is really it. We're on the last leg of it. We can see the finish line. You, you sense it. And we've got to make it to the finish line. We can't just get real close to it and then, then give out. Mm -hmm. We've got to pass that. So that's, as, you know, the Spirit speaketh expressly, we know, in the latter days. So it's happening right now. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, maybe with that, we just, that little background of what we talked about and spent two hours previous. But we're going to go to question number three here, honey. Which you might right. want to read that and let's everybody get involved and I'll be quiet for a minute or two. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Right, go ahead. <laughs> well, the setting of question number three yeah. is after. Um, the door of the ark had been shut uh -oh. and the rain had begun to fall. Mm -hmm. It reads, why weren't the desperate cries to God from the masses to enter the ark once the flood began answered? Mm. There were just, we don't have any idea how many people, but they were just trying their very best to get into the ark and they mm -hmm. could not. What parallel do we see of this event in our day and time? When the door closes, okay. it was seven days until they realized they were in big trouble. Mm -hmm. So when that door closed, mm. it seems to me that that was the close of probation for Good. everyone, mm -hmm. those in the ark and out the ark. Mm -hmm. The ones in the ark were saved, the one outside the ark were lost. Mm -hmm. And I always said when I read that as a child, no matter what happens, I want to be in the ark. Amen. Amen. And the majority are not going to be in the ark. Mm -hmm. So if I follow the majority, which is what the majority of the world does today, they follow their friends, their family ah. members, I'm setting myself up for failure. Well, I, I think also mm -hmm. a lot of people feel like they have a lot of time. Huh. You know, I know it's coming. I know it's going to happen, mm -hmm. but yes. tomorrow. And what if tomorrow doesn't come for us? Mm -hmm. I'm sure they, wow. they weren't too yeah. worried about it when right. one day passed, well, another day passed, mm -hmm. another and you another. You see the sun shining, prosperity, yeah. things are normal. Do you think any heckling was going on? Oh, oh yes. definitely. After the door shut, oh, can't you sure. see it? The hecklers and the scoffers, the Bible said scoffers. As soon, you know, like said, more time that went by, an hour or two when this big door shut, the angel right shut the door. You, the hecklers out there and the scoffers probably start saying, ha, ha, can you, you know. I always imagined they were laughing at him when he was building the ark. Well, they were. They, they thought were. he was oh. a fanatic. Yeah, they thought yeah. he was a fanatic. You know, and I think as this time went on, it just kind of seated in their mind, oh, we were right. He's a fanatic. Look at him. He's shut in with all those animals, and, yeah. and how's he going to get out? You know, we can't get in. How's he going to get out? Right. Mm. But that's before the rain started. How do we think I, of, go I'm ahead. I'm sure oh. there were some that, probably helped on the ark that yes. heard the message and believed the message. No, oh, there were. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But they, they, they didn't make get that on decision. The ark. Yeah. No. You know, yeah. one of the things I think about is 
the animals coming onto the ark. That was something pretty miraculous. Mm. Yes. But I'm sure there was more than just that as far as different miracles mm -hmm. that they saw in their own personal lives or things going on around them while the ark was being built. Surely there was more than just that yeah. one miracle. Mm -hmm. For instance, when the children of Israel came out of Egypt, uh -huh. they were given miracle after miracle after miracle in regard to their deliverance. So there was probably a whole lot more miracles than just what the Bible records. When you regard. said that, it's just like, how dark was it spiritually for the yeah. people there? We realize it hit the rock bottom. Right. But I think about when you said them animals coming in two by two, and of course it cleans by seven, they weren't fighting among themselves. No. They were on a mission. The angels were guarding them and they just got in line and they just started going and probably no telling how long the line was. And if even a non-believer, somebody see it today, you see that, said, that something's going on here. That ain't normal. Something, uh, people looked at that probably no telling how long it took to you know, get all of them on there, but it's like, hmm, big deal. Yep. Animals don't, don't, don't exist that way. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. they, they, they fight among themselves and they're you know, not decent and in order and everything, but it was. So how dark the world was. Well, how dark would it be today? Because yeah, we would well. probably look at it and say, oh, it, it's some kind of magic trick. Yeah, yeah. You know, we would try to find excuses. And that's yeah. what those people were doing too. Mm. There's no doubt in my mind. They were rationalizing mm -hmm. uh -oh. away their salvation. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You know, like you said, they probably said Noah's pulling a trick on us. Yeah. He wants us in the ark and this is some, he trained them or something like that. Yeah. And, and we rationalize things that we don't want to accept whether they're right or wrong. Oh, boy. And, um, I've heard people do that about alcohol. They rationalize why it's okay for them to drink. Uh, and I try and tell them, I show them the science of it, why it's yes. not good for them, but they rationalize the way out of it. That's what we do, and, and we have to try not to do that. Convince a man against his will. Mm -hmm. Ah. Remember that? Uh, convince a man against his will, he's of the same opinion same still. still. Mm -hmm. And we see that yeah. all the time with people. They, yeah. uh, they don't want to be convinced, just like yes. you said, Eric. But we're kind of conditioned that mm. if we make a mistake or if we realize that uh, our wills need to be changed, mm. that we can go to God and we can mm -hmm. say, Lord, I'm sorry, please help me, you know, please forgive me and go on. And that's what happened when this door shut and it began to rain. They're, they're pounding, oh, they're well, scratching, sure. they're probably hitting with anything they can find. Yeah, sure. yes. You know, they were gathering the animals and running to the tops of the mountains mm -hmm. and, and trying to save their children. And they were clawing, trying to get in, but they mm -hmm. could not get in. Mm -hmm. It makes me think of Revelation 3, mm -hmm. verse 7, where it says, He that hath the key of David, he that openeth Open. and no man shutteth and shutteth and no man openeth. Mm. We know that is Jesus Christ. Mm. He says, I know thy works. Behold, I've set before thee an open door. When it was open, everybody could come in mm -hmm. and no man can shut it. For thou hast little strength and hast kept my word and hast not denied my name. Mm -hmm. Now we know that there's been other open and shut doors, yes. but once there that door shut, that's what mm -hmm. I want to know. I want to know why were those prayers not answered? Why didn't, yeah, oh, wait, well. we need to stop. These mm -hmm. people want to get on now. Let's open the door. Yeah. I have what a, happened? I have a proverb, uh, 28, 28, 9. Mm -hmm. One who turns away his ear from hearing the law, uh -oh. even his prayer is an abomination. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I think they had 120 years. Wow. It said sure. that Noah preached, correct me if I'm wrong, mm -hmm. Noah preached 120 years. They had 120 years to surrender their souls, yes. surrender their hearts to the mm -hmm. Lord. Yeah. God is reaching out to people right now. They, they had an entire lifetime to do it. God's reaching yes. out to people right now and they ignore it. Like, no. like Marilyn said, they're too busy or something like that. Yes. Right. You know, the children of Israel, when you, when you follow their journey, journey through, the, through uh, the desert and they're headed to the promised land, and now they've crossed over to the promised land, mm -hmm. you see all of these different um, uh, places where they were not, uh, this person, this tribe here, they have not reached their probation. So the Lord made them go around or mm -hmm. he made them give them peace and they could not their probation, each one had different probationary times. Yes. And we have to understand that 
there is probation that yes. we all have to face is probation. And if we're taught by our pastors, if we're taught by uh, society that we get to heaven and we have another, or we have another seven years of probation, I think that's one of the, mm -hmm. a big deception. Yes. That we, we have more years to, 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 change our character mm -hmm. and uh, we have to change our character now because our probationary days mm -hmm. have a limit and we want to make Amen. we want to meet that limit. Amen. Amen. You know in yeah. the early 1800s yeah. there were different men in different parts of the world even children that didn't even know the message that that was speak you know, as the Holy Spirit spoke through them or sing songs that they had never learned before. Uh, one that we're familiar with was William Miller. Mm -hmm. And he was a Baptist. He was not really um, so grounded in the Word of God. So he began to really dissect the Word of God. And he started understanding a few things in Daniel 7, mm -hmm. and, or Daniel 8 and Daniel 9. And he said, he ran across Daniel 8, 14, where it says, and unto 2,000, and 300 days, then shall the sanctuary be mm -hmm. cleansed. Mm -hmm. And at that time, they thought that the earth was the sanctuary, and that meant the second coming. But as he be continued to study, he went to Ezra and different places mm -hmm. and found later on, especially after the great disappointment, that it wasn't the second coming, that something else had happened. Mm. You know, Christ had went from the holy place yeah. into the most holy place and something special yeah. began to take place. Something like you mentioned a while ago in that one you read, because uh, you don't want people to miss, mm -hmm. you know, to say, oh, that wasn't, that apply. Open and shut door. Mm -hmm. You know, we look at that. That's what the, the Lord just did. And we're principles here. In a, a door of the ark mm -hmm. and open and close. But that was actually in the, in the, in the sanctuary. Sanctuary. And the time of 1844, the yes. judgment hour, the investigative judgment yes. takes place that we've been living in. And I've thought and thought, and I've looked, what, what does the enemy want from me, maybe from you. What does he want us to do? Mm -hmm. He wants us to, to remain deceived or be deceived mm -hmm. and then to be wrapped up in what's taking place in the world. That's right. If he can do that, which everybody's mentioning here, until probation closes, he's got us. That's yeah. what I was looking for, probation yes. closing. closing. Yes. And see, oh, right now we're yes. in that probationary time. Yes. It started in October. What was it, October 20th? Of 18, 22. 22nd, 22nd of 1844. Yeah. So that's when our probation basically has started. The mm -hmm. books have been open and we are all on probation. They were on probation for at least 120 years as Noah was preaching and mm -hmm. teaching about the coming flood. They had never seen a flood before. The one thing I said in, in part two, I was talking about what is that thing, you know, you put, it used oh. to be popular in the 80s and, and the, <laughs> the water did its own cycle. It was a little terrarium. Do you remember those terrariums? You could plant your plants in there and the water did its own. That's what they were used to, the dew was coming up and watering the plants and keeping everything, mm. you know, to think about a flood when it had never rained, Ooh. you know, yeah. it just, it was scientifically impossible to them. Yes. yes. And so they, they rationalized all these things away rather than believing in the God that actually created all these things, yeah. created the science that was keeping the then world in place and keeping our world in place. Amen. So well, it's probation. Yeah. The reason that they're cries, their tears, their pleas, mm. everything was not answered is because when that ark mm. shut, that door that no man could close, but God, when it shut, that was it. That was it. Their probation had closed. So people have asked me, and that maybe each one of you have a thought on this here. They say, what is the purpose mm -hmm. of a close of probation for mankind? What is mm -hmm. the purpose of a probationary time? Well, we have a Could be, we yeah. have a really good parallel okay. with what happened with uh, Pharaoh when the children of Israel yes. was trying to get out of Egypt. The Lord had told Moses that He would harden Pharaoh's mm. heart, yes, because God knew Pharaoh's heart, yes, and so the ten plagues were actually designed to soften his heart, sure, mm -hmm. and to help him understand there is a power higher Amen. and mightier mm -hmm. than yes. you and your gods. Amen. The God of heaven is, has complete power over any type of God that Pharaoh thought mm -hmm. that he Amen. might want to serve. And you were, were talking about the close of probation. Why does God close probation yeah. and then give a little bit of time mm -hmm. you know, before the rain falls? God wants to 
show to the whole universe mm -hmm. that he knows our hearts so well that he can put people through their paces Come on. and they will stay true. Mm. And unlike Pharaoh, yeah. Pharaoh hated that the plagues landed on him. Yes. The, the antediluvians, they hated that it was raining. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But it didn't create a change of heart. It didn't yeah, wow. create a change of character. There it is. You, you there it is. He just You're said something very interesting mm -hmm. too. He said before the the close of probation before the rain starts. Mm -hmm. The close of probation before the latter the rain, rain starts mm -hmm. yeah. is poured See, out. See that that's yeah. food. That's good food that's for thought. That's another and parallel. That, what you mentioned a while ago yeah. is that really I don't think that's in my mind as such that there should have been a mechanism. <laughs> In other words, but that would have to do with man. The Bible right? says the voice of yeah. the archangel, yeah. Michael the archangel, yeah. the Shut voice. The In other words, it, it isn't what we're saying is that when the probation closes, when God says it closes, mm. not when man says it. You know, that would have to do with man. Okay, I, it's, it's, it's time for us to close the door. We'll just close it. Yeah. God said it'll close when I say it closes. That's yes. right. No man be able to, I'll close it when I close it. That means that's it. That's right. Amen. Wow. And, and it has to do with character, doesn't it? You mentioned it character. We, we have to prove to God and the rest of the universe yeah. because the Bible is very clear that this little earth oh. is a stage to the rest of the universe. Yes. God says, I know my people and I know who I can bring home. Mm. Mm -hmm. And yeah. some of those people in the universe, they're going to point their finger at me and they're going to say, <laughs> We know that guy. We've seen the things he's done in his <laughs> past. Are you sure you know his heart that well? Mm. Yeah. And he says, well, I'm going to close probation and then put him through the final tests, yeah. and I'm going to show you how his heart really is. Yeah. But we have to get to that point, that point. before probation Good. closes. Mm -hmm. Kind of like with Pharaoh. Yeah. Pharaoh had 10 plagues. Yes. The last plague was horrible. But where did his probation really close? It closed at the Red Sea. Pharaoh shows up at a sea and it's parted, mm. saving God's people. Yeah. It's unbelievable. And he thinks, yeah. well, I'm going to go through too. Mm -hmm. He saw the greatest miracle and yeah. rationalized his way yes. it, to his own it, destruction. It, it did not even jog his mind yeah. that he was going into a situation to where the almighty God of the universe had control of something. He yeah. just was not in his right mind you, anymore. Yeah. That, that's a good point. You talk about, and again, we say probation to me, just think, and it, it shocks some people when you think about it. But remember, Adam and Eve, they were put on probation. They were on probation. Yes. All mankind is on probation. Amen. That's a good thought. You think about it, as you look at it here, Christ came down here and lived, and this gets people upset. He was on probation. Mm. Mm. For us. For us. Mm -hmm. Now he didn't. He was on probation. Mm -hmm. If he if he had sinned, he would not be our advocate. He would. I know some people. But study to show yourself approved unto God. He would not been able to return mm -hmm. if he had sinned in one area. But he was on probation. So what makes us think people say, "Well, I'm not on probation. I don't have to worry about probation." Christ was on probation. The angels are on probation, mm. and that is in other worlds. Everybody is on probation. Again, even the angels of heaven still yet now, I'm just talking, on probation. If they choose to go another direction, they may do that. That's right. And so, some of them did. Yeah, and, and they did. We found right at, you know, the fall of, of the enemy. So we need to realize that probationary time, there's probationary time for every individual, every nation, as it were, every city, everything mm -hmm. that's going on. And all we have to do is look, so well, that's not true. All you got to go back is study history. We've talked about it before. Babylon, Middle Persia, Greece, and Rome, they all had a specific time. Yes. And we look at it in history, they came into power, boom, so many years later, boom, they went. Mm -hmm. That meant their probation closed as a nation. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so the, it's, this is a very important time that we're living in. If we believe we're living in the end times, my probation could, when it can end for me, Mm -hmm. It could be at death mm -hmm. immediately. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. it, it, your, but your book is closed on there. Yeah. It, go ahead. Well, I, I'm, I'm thinking too, you know, yeah. because we don't know when our name is going to come there up in the judgment. Oh First Peter 4, 17 yeah. says, for the time has come that judgment must begin mm. at the house of God. Mercy. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them 
that obey not the gospel mm -hmm. of God. I think that's wow. pretty easy to understand, but there is a judgment that's taking part for the this whole world right now mm -hmm. during our probationary time. Mm -hmm. And we don't know when the books will be closed for us. So we need to live each day as though it were our last. You know, Linda wow. touched on something a little bit ago. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a, a false teaching about seven years of a second chance. Right. Oh, yeah. That's not in scripture. No. Mm -mm. And it's, it's so sad that people think, well, my, my spouse, yeah. they're a Christian. And when I see that my spouse disappears because of the secret rapture, mm -hmm. then I'll know, hey, I have seven years to get my life mm -hmm. in the world. Wow. Well, it's a false security. Yeah, and sure people is. believe yeah. that, okay, so you know, I may blow it in this lifetime, but I've got another additional seven years. Mm -hmm. And it would be nice if we did in one hand, right. but we don't want to fall into that false security where it's not really true. When the probation ends, then yeah. it's done for us. So could that be like some people, your probation is you live to be 100. Somebody else lives to be 70. Yeah. Some child, young person dies at six or seven. Mm -hmm. You could even say if God allows that to happen, could we say in, 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 in God's overview of everything, their probation ended. It's ended. It's ended. That's so right. every nation that has been destroyed, right? Things that are happening now, the whole island will disappear. This will happen. Yeah. It has to be that their time is up, as it were, probation has closed. There is no purgatory. There is no purgatory. No purgatory. Absolutely not. No. But the time will close. And again, I don't know when mine's going to close. When it closes for the world, please keep this in mind. When it closes for the world, it won't, not, may not be, it won't be immediately. There's going to be a little time, as it were. God in His mercy and His goodness again. But when it closes, that means it closes once and for all for that. Not another person will ever come to Him. Think about it. Not another person will ever give their life to Jesus once probation for humanity is closed. He stands That's, up. They say it's all she wrote. Mm -hmm. yeah. We never know about it. So I'm, we're encouraging people at home to make sure that everything is settled. When you go to bed at night, make sure it's settled. When you get up in the morning, make sure it's still settled. Go through the day, make sure it's still settled. Yeah. In case something happens that you would be right with God. This I is a very, very interesting time. Now is the time Good. to come to the Lord when, when, when the light's on you. I have a friend of mine, he told me the other day, he said, I know you're right about the Sabbath, yeah. oh. but I'm gonna wait till I retire. And yeah, he's like right. four or five years from retirement before oh, I start Lord doing that. Mercy. And I said, you may not make it to retirement. Right. And what spirit in you, the spirit in you that keeps you from wanting to keep the Sabbath now, mm -hmm. that's dangerous. And um, I think a lot of people were so distracted and consumed by this world oh. that it keeps us from doing what we know we should do. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then probation closes and God mm -hmm. said, well, you made your decision. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's and exactly the plan that, 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 again, the enemy has. You said des uh, desire of ages, like 636. He wants to keep us involved enough in the, the world. The uh, things of the world. Be deceived and, and the thing, yeah, mm -hmm. he talks about the uh, occupied, mm -hmm. occupied. Yes until we're well, lost, frivolity. our probation closes. Yeah. If there was ever a time, sorry, Chris. No, go ahead. If there was ever a time when we have met with the most distractions mm. in life, there has never been a time. I struggle with it, my husband, we sure, all struggle we, yes, with it. Yes. Computers, phones, yes. everything mm -hmm. is pulling at us to keep us distracted and it's a struggle. I know with many who are watching mm -hmm. are struggling with that same thing. It's something we have to get the victory wow. over though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, if the devil can keep us distracted, mm -hmm. can keep us entertained constantly, then we don't realize the state of the world, the condition of the world. We don't realize that the uh, enormity of what the judgment hour means on mm. our eternal decision for heaven or not. Amen. You know, he wow. keeps us occupied so that our yes. minds are not steadfast in the right place. I think because we're touching on it already, well. we can actually read question number four because okay. I think this is part of what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. And it reads, what is God calling his people to be like so that our fate does not mirror the fate of those outside of the ark? Mm. And I think you guys are all talking about it. Well. And that is to to actually empty ourselves of self well, and yeah. to be filled with the Holy Spirit, to trust in God, to have faith in Him. And you mentioned Enoch. Yeah. Enoch. Wow. Enoch didn't see death. Will there be a people alive when the mm -hmm. Lord comes that will not see death? 
Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. And we we talk about those people as being what? After the close of probation, they are oh, sealed. Sealed, sealed, sealed in their yes. forehead. Amen. They're sealed. Mm -hmm. They don't always realize that they're sealed, but they're sealed by the grace of God. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, and they're, in other words, they're going to make it. That's right. And yeah. they're going to be like Enoch. They're going to go up into heaven. They'll Woo. be caught up together with those who are raised out of the Amen. grave. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. So pro probation, everybody's talking about here, and I jotted down something. I thought, it's at solemn events. How do I know that probation is closing for the world, mm. closing period. How do I know? And you get in the Word of God and it tells you the things that we're experiencing mm -hmm. right now. I jotted some down, it said here, uh, it's a day of wrath. It tells us, it's, we're living in a day of wrath. It's a time of trouble, distress, darkness, alarm of war. Mm -hmm. This all taken from great controversy. Destruction on every hand. It talks about there's, there's no morals in society anymore. They're all, they're all gone. There's lawlessness. And then there also it talks about there's the, the, the economy is going, everything is going down the tube. This is telling us that probation, this is warning. Every one of these things are warning. And even though you say, well, we've, this has been going on for a long, long time, it's, it's more than it's ever been, right? Mm -hmm. it's, Amen. it's more. And it's telling us that. And I got to thinking about it, and I looked up another great controversy, 594, it says this, and then we can talk about it however you want to do it. The events connected with the close of probation, notice this, because people say, we don't know when it's going to close, so we're going to keep going. Mm -hmm. Close of probation, and notice this, the work of preparation for the time of trouble are clearly presented in Scripture. So we can know these things are taking place and, and just before they take place, but here's our problem. There was a problem. You say, what could be a problem? Then I looked in, I started looking at the example of Jesus. He said, you can't get a better example. Amen. And, and of Calvary. Jesus clearly, before he went to Calvary, he told the disciples, they're going to come and get me. Mm. They're going to nail me to the cross. Let me just paraphrase mm -hmm. it. They're going to kill me. They're going to crucify me, mm -hmm. but I will rise again. See, he's living in faith. I will rise again. And as soon as he died, as it were, on the cross, the disciples lost everything. They went, can I say deaf and dumb? Mm. They went, they, they, they could not remember anything that Jesus had said because their heart was so, uh, you know, in, he's supposed to set up a kingdom here on this earth and now what are we going to do now? We're lost. But the Pharisees remembered. The Pharisees remembered. <laughs> they were afraid it wasn't. Yeah. But I'm saying, the point is, we, well, we know. We've studied. But could it be when disaster strikes and mm. wars and rumors of a war that we forget what well, Jesus has dead. told us in His Word? Th th mm -hmm. It'll cause many to be lost in the last days if we forget these promises that He's made to us because the disciples with Him, and I, I think He had His arm and maybe around Him, and He patted Him on the back and, oh, don't forget. I'm going to tell you this one more time. I'm going to be nailed to the cross, but I'll live again. I'll come back. Don't let the things of this world get you. And they did. They just completely lost all sight of Him. Yeah. I think one of the reasons yeah. that the Lord sends tri trials, excuse me, trials into our life is because it shows us who we are. Right. A lot of us go through trials Good. and find out we're not who we thought we were. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. And then we look back exactly. after the trial is gone and we yes. see how we failed yes. and how we fell yeah. to pieces and how we lost faith and all these things. That's it. And how that's the opportunity that we have to yeah. fix ourselves. Mm -hmm. so, Good. so our character is exposed when we have the trial. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And if it's not where it needs to be, then that trial will help prompt us that's right. to have the character mm -hmm. that we need for the next trial because the next trial we get will oh. be worse. And yes. that's what happened to the apostles. Mm -hmm. They had that trial and they saw their, yeah. their weakness. And you had one disciple. Uh -oh. He didn't do so great mm. when he went through the trial. Mm. Judas. He, yeah, Judas went and hanged himself. Mm -hmm. yeah, but, but he uh, had a way of escape if he He wanted. had a way of escaping if he'd have took it, mm -hmm. but, he, yeah. but he wouldn't take it mm -hmm. instead. Wow. You know, so the choices people make, it's... I like how Peter took it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Peter yeah. broke down. He gave in. Yes. Yeah. Wow. He realized his weakness, unlike Judas, mm -hmm. and he surrendered to the Lord. Yeah. I remember when Jesus said, when he saw the apostles, he said, "Go tell Peter." <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know that always touched my touched me touched my heart a lot because mm -hmm. the Lord knew where Peter was, mm -hmm. and and he yes. said, "Go tell Peter, I'm okay." Mm -hmm. yeah, your your wow. question: What is God calling His people to be like, yeah. so mm -hmm. that our fate does not mirror the fate mm -hmm. of those outside the ark? I'm reminded of Galatians two twenty. Paul says, I'm crucified with Christ. Mm, yes. Nevertheless, I live. 
Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. Amen. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith mm. of the Son of God Amen. who loved me and gave himself mm. for me. <laughs> Peter just walked through the sanctuary message in that verse. Mm -hmm. And I always thought it was interesting. I heard some time ago, when is a boat ever called an ark? Hmm. You ever hear of any other boat being called an ark? It's hmm. only the one yeah. there in the beginning chapters of Genesis. Yeah. No other boat's ever mm -hmm. been called an ark, but we also have another item. It's in the sanctuary. Mm -hmm. It's in the holy place. Mm -hmm. It's called an ark, the ark. Mm -hmm. ark of the covenant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I heard a pastor one time say, it's been quite some time ago, but he was making the parallel yes. between Noah in his day and us in our day. If you want to be saved, you got to be in the ark. Come on now. Mm -hmm. Amen. You got to be in the ark. And you have to, you have <laughs> to rightly divide the word of God, which Amen. is one reason that they, they lost all faith. They lost heart yes, when Christ did. was telling them this. They said, no, it can't be yeah, because yeah. there's so many prophecies that say that, you know, that there's going to be peace and yeah. prosperity and da 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 and so but they didn't associate it at the right time and that's why Jesus tells us always always be not deceived mm -hmm. to study here a little there mm -hmm. a little line upon Amen. line precept upon precept well they had they had forgotten the lamb that takes away the sins of the world mm -hmm. they had Amen. changed the sanctuary message into a ritual yes of salvation mm -hmm instead of a practice of Leading. having a converted heart Amen. to the Lord. Amen. And so a shadow of things that were about to happen. Yeah, wow. so they so they totally skipped the lamb that was supposed to come and die for our sins. They totally mm. skipped mm. that time period and went straight to the time period that's actually coming up here very soon. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But we're hearing a lot now. Yeah. More and more pastors and evangelists, teachers, different ones are starting to bring out their sensing that we're going to go through a difficult time, but there's that thousand years of peace and prosperity and safety, and we're getting ready to enter into that time. And they may even think at election time or whatever. Right. This is beginning that thousand year period. You mm -hmm. know, it, when you say peace and safety, what happens? Sudden mm. destruction. The Bible says sudden destruction cometh. So we need to be very careful and not let that. It sounds good, man. Mm. You know, lullaby, you know, go to sleep. It's not the way it is. Yeah. In a, in a real sense, that thousand years yeah. after the coming oh, of Christ wow, is yeah. the second portion of judgment mm -hmm. because right now it's, it's oh. in the house of God. It's the righteous that are being judged. Mm -hmm. But, you know, the Bible tells us, know ye not, you shall judge angels. Yeah, right. You wow. know, we're, we're going to be part of that jury in heaven Mercy. and the books will be open. And those who are not there, we're going to see that. Oh, we're going to wow. understand that. That is a jury duty you don't want to miss. Mm. Yeah, my, you want to be a part of that jury yeah. duty. You want to be in that first resurrection. Mm -hmm. And part of that last question was okay. what type of character? And I just wanted to read you something here from, um, I think it's Patriarchs and Prophets, but let me, I'm not mm. seeing it. it. It says, by faith Enoch was translated that he should not see death. Mm -hmm. For before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased oh, God. come on now. Hebrews 11:5. Mm -hmm. In the midst of the world, by its iniquity doomed to destruction, Enoch lived a life of such close communion with God that he was not permitted to fall under the power of death. And here it is. Well, the godly character of this prophet represents mm. the state of holiness, which you referred to, which mm. must be, which must be, hear that word? Come on. Must be attained by those who shall be redeemed from the earth, Revelation 14, yes. 3, at the time of Christ's mm. second advent. Yes. And so many people think, oh, we, we don't well, have to be, you know, uh, yeah. strive to have that type of character, but it's very clear. It's clear in the Word of God, and it's clear in the spirit of prophecy that we need to yeah. be close to Him. We can't do him. it on our own. No, we can't do it on our no. own. Absolutely no. not. We can do nothing on our own. But we, we it's can't, Him working in us. We, we can't get into that mode of saying, well, we do the best we can and that'd be good enough. Mm. Or we do not have to have perfection of character mm. before Christ comes. Part of the probation that we've all been talking about here period of time is so that we can correct by the grace of God, the Holy Spirit, defects That's in right. our character. Everybody said it, maybe not just using those words. That's the big part of probationary time 
God's saying, oh, Kenny, you need some time, son, mm -hmm. you know, and he's going to give us more time. It's, it's perfect. And again, I think you may, we'll be tested in our weaker points. It's going to mm -hmm. be, and why is that test coming to me? I don't want that test sometime. Mm. If, I'm, if I'm impatient, the impatient person doesn't want to be tested on everything that breaks <laughs> down all the time. Yeah. Well, somebody not, <laughs> you, you know what I'm talking about, but I know when it happens, I need it. That's Lord, right. give me yeah. patience, and I want it right now. Yeah, and then he <laughs> says, okay, the belt on your lawnmower is going to break, and you can't get one for a week, and anyway. So those things happen, but if we, if we lose it, we go backwards. But God will present it to us again because we're praying, Lord, help us to have your character. What is it, Christ's object lesson, what is it, the 69? It says on there, when his character right, is, is perfectly reproduced, reproduced in us. In us he will come. So what is this business of some of us sitting around sometime and saying, well, no, we don't have to be like that. We don't have to, when his Just believe, character, right? When his character, that what it, and then what it says? When the yes. character of Christ shall be perfectly reproduced in us, he will come. Mm -hmm. And then we'd be good candidate. We'll be heaven bound, won't we, by mm -hmm. then? But, okay. but what we also have Getting to Getting wrapped up, look out now. What we also have to remember is it's the trials we go through that is a part of that character development. Amen. Right. Good. So while in a sense the Lord is waiting on us, Ooh. but we're also waiting on the Lord because there are certain trials yeah. we have to go through that is part of our changing process. Good. And so while our close of probation might close suddenly, mm. you know, um, but we can still we still have a part to play. We do. And, and, and we still have tests and trials that is a part of that. Good. Remember, Christ will never force anybody. No. No. He's not going to yeah. force you to be holy, to be right. good, to be righteous, to commit and submit your mind and your thoughts and your, your character, everything about you to Him. He wants all of you, but mm. it's humanity and divinity mm. working together. We must work in, in concert with heaven so that Christ can come in and be our strength. Remember Isaiah? He wants to, he wants to strengthen us. He wants yes. to help us. He yes. wants to uphold us with the right hand of his righteousness. So we can do nothing without him, but mm -hmm. everything with him. But it's Amen. us allowing him to do that Amen. and being willing to do that. I, w I was thinking that when you said earlier um, towards the beginning of this, that they were they wanted to come into the ark after the door closed. Right. Well, they were pounding and scratching to get into yeah. the ark. I don't think they were sincere. I think they were they scared. Were there they were go. scared, but they weren't sincere. Because yeah. I remember 9 11 when the yeah. planes flew oh, into the Twin yeah. Towers uh -oh. and everybody yeah. flooded into the churches. Mm -hmm. They did it because they were scared. That's right. As soon as that wore off, they were back doing the things that That's they right. did and everything That's else. Right. Right. God knows the character, the difference between scared and sincere. Absolutely. And we want to be sincere. And Remember, Good. they were holding these big meetings with President Bush and, and, and like football stadiums, and they would have all these different people from different faith. And it was the first time I'd seen in our government people coming forward and praying on TV, you know, mm -hmm. because the, that's what everybody was. They were afraid. Mm -hmm. right. They didn't know what had happened and what was going to happen. Right. Mm -hmm. And this will all be repeated. Mm -hmm. You had asked, uh, mm -hmm. you know, you mentioned earlier, does the Bible talk about warnings that these things are going to happen? Sure, yeah. Pastor Kenneth Joel, you're <laughs> well. in Joel 3. Go ahead, honey. Joel All 3, right. this is one that, that I had put in here, Joel 3, 13 through 16. Okay. It says, put in the sickle for the harvest is ripe. Uh -huh. Come, get down for the press is full, the fats Ooh. overflow, for their wickedness is uh -oh. great. Multitudes, multitudes in the yeah. valley of See. decision. There it See, is. See, that's where all of us are, is in that's that right. valley of decision. What choice will we make? Yeah. And Christ has done everything he possibly could to help us to make the right choice. For the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. Mm -hmm. And then it goes on just yeah. to talk about Zion and Jerusalem. See, there's the, a lot of false doctrines that are out there a lot too. Make people come in, as it were, make people come into the church and give their life to Him supposedly. And one of them would be eternal burning hell fire. Mm -hmm. Let's be honest right. about it. Mm -hmm. A lot of people say, well, I came and I, and I heard this preacher, I didn't want to, I don't want to burn in hell fire. I don't want to burn in hell fire. So I go to church and, and you know, I'm baptized or whatever. And I go, that doesn't mean you're going to be saved in That's the kingdom. Right. So there's things because God just does not operate that way at all. But again, many, many are in church because they don't want to go to hell. 
That's entirely the wrong reason. That's the yeah. difference. Right. Um, it's, that's uh, the difference between being scared and sincere. That's it. They're trying to scare people that's in it. the church rather yeah. than draw them yeah. in sincerely. We we follow Christ because we love Him. Right. Is that right? Want us Not because to, we're yeah. afraid. We come him. to Him out of fear. He wants yeah. us to come to Him because we love, love. Him. And the right. fear then the Bible talks about, isn't that more of, of, of respect and, mm -hmm. and honor and everything rather than, the, oh, that's why I come to Jesus. Not at all. And I love what you said. Oh, Excuse me just one second. Yeah. I love what you said because uh -huh. some people say, well, all we have to do is come to Christ. Just mm -hmm. come as uh -huh. you are, come as you yes. are. Yes. But Jesus doesn't want to leave us in no, that he's state. he's not going to leave us in that You mess. know, just yeah. recently we had had a young man that has been coming and he's living in a simple um, situation and he wanted a Bible after a few weeks so we gave him a Bible and one of the first verses that he happened oh, to look boy, at look happened by now. God's providence dealt with that and so they <laughs> called and asked and I don't even remember everything I was saying on the phone to them <laughs> but I oh, even wow. though I never condoned it I wanted to slow it down because he needed to fall in love with Jesus. There you go. Because none of us will let go of sin unless we love Him more. Amen. Does that make Good. sense? Yes. yes. And we have to have that time every single day in the Word of God, in prayer, if we're going to have that connection with Him. Amen. And that's well, why amen. Enoch yeah. kind of separated Oof, himself mercy. from the world. Go girl. Amen. <laughs> I was just going to say, I know that the, pro the doctrine of, of uh, probation is hard for people to accept, but yes. you have to think about this. When we go to heaven, what kind of character do we want as our neighbor? Uh, the people that are, are around us, what kind of Thank characters you. do we want there? Do we want, want thieves up there? People oh, who, who break these commandments that hurt people, yeah. adultery, murder, yes. all of these things that we're becoming a lawless world now. Mm. That's right. And, uh, so when we get to heaven, we want someone who abides by those rules so we'll be protected. We can leave our homes and no one else will be there to occupy. Mm. Our land will always be our land. Oh, yes. No one else, it will not ever belong mm -hmm. to someone else. Mm -hmm. and, and I think that that's what we want is we want a heaven mm -hmm. where we can have that peace and harmony. Amen. And I think it's good too because the Bible talks about our very best effort is as filthy rags. And Spirit Amen. of Prophecy brings out that it's our tendency. Mm -hmm. Let's say that all of a sudden we die in a car accident, but right before we hit, something came out of our mouth, with, oh, which honey, was not characteristic. Mm -hmm. But God judges on our character, you know, our mm -hmm. tendencies mm -hmm. and he knows that if we had made it, we would have repented. Does yes. that make sense? Yeah, that's right. right. You know, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I, that gives me hope gives because hope. we're all right. weak and vacillating. What are you saying? It's not. It's not all the victory, and it's not all the defeats. It's where are we headed mm -hmm. in our heart and Where's our, our mind? Where's our true love? Yeah. What, what What are our sights set on? This is what it is. And oh, I felt, oh, Lord, forgive me, and we go right back on that path. So we're, we want to make people make sure as they're studying. Like the thief on the cross. The okay. thief on the cross, he repented. Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, he was a thief, yet he's going to be in there. God yeah, re wow. reassured him. He knew he his would, heart. But he yeah. repented. Mm -hmm. He made things right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think probably if my, I look at my own life and so on, I may be the biggest surprise for a lot of folks in heaven <laughs> if I make it there by Same God's here. grace. Isn't Same that right? Here. Amen. Isn't that wonderful? Think about it. Yes. And, and that's what I do. It's not somebody else's life and how they've been living and good, bad, or ugly. But I look at my own life. Amen. They're a sinner. How am I going to be saved? By grace. That's what the Bible said. Amen. And you say by grace, His grace is sufficient. And I read one time where there's, there's no sin that God cannot forgive. Man, that gave me so much hope, so much encouragement. When others are beating you in the head and talking or whatever, no sin that God cannot forgive. Amen. So if the heart comes and asks for real for forgiveness and you want to do the right thing, God's going to take care of you. He wants you there more than you want to be there, mm -hmm. so that's my opinion. I, I think the right. Lord is more willing to forgive us sometimes than we're willing to forgive ourselves. Mm -hmm. Amen. He, yeah. He's there's nothing. Look at the people yeah. like David that he forgave. Yeah. Heinous crimes. And we have to be careful about that too, don't we? Because we doubt. We ask for forgiveness and then we doubt that forgiveness. Well, that's not faith and that's not, it's not going to come to completion that way. You know, when you say you confess your sins, you know they are, you forget, and then you get up and go, just. don't look back and don't say, well, I don't know if he's been forgiven or not. You, you, they haven't been if we do that. Just press on. God's big enough. He can do it. And I know he looks at me and says, Kenny, I want to spend eternity with you. And I say, Lord, I just don't understand it, but thank you. Mm. Thank you, but I'm accepting it anyway. That's mm -hmm. exactly. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. It's wonderful God we serve, isn't it? Makes me yeah. think of Jacob's ladder. You know, uh -oh, sometimes, come on, get a hold sometimes of it. the only way you can go up higher is come once on. you, you, you have a good grasp mm -hmm. and, uh -oh. and have faith and that, that rung before you can go and take the next rung. That's right. But so often we, we slip and we fall backwards, yes. but praise God, mm -hmm. when, he gives us mm -hmm. the strength to do it again. Gives us those trials. Let me just say that quickly, and everybody yeah. can. I'll try to be quiet. Okay. Because that that was a dream that I had about myself. Mm -hmm. It's climbing oh, Jacob's ladder. You yes. remember that? I remember. Many years ago, climbing. And in that dream, the Lord said, "Kenny, mm -mm -mm. it's going to be very difficult for you to make it to heaven." Lord, why? Why is it difficult? It's going to be difficult. You're going to be hit this way and that way and every which way possible. Let me show you what I mean. And all of a sudden, I see myself climbing Jacob's ladder. It was a set of steps, actually. And I, I reached up. I wasn't just walking up. I'd already been down on my stomach. And I reached up, and I, I grabbed a hold of that next step. I said, oh, thank you, Lord. I got a hold of a step. And I heard something. And the enemy was down where my feet were on the next three or four steps down. Yep. He had, listen, he had a chisel. And he was chiseling where my feet was resting on those steps. Mm. Oh. And all of a sudden, my feet gave way, but my hands were there. That's right. And I said, oh, thank you, Lord. Help me get my feet back on solid ground. My feet went to this next step, and I looked up, and the devil was chiseling where my hands were on those steps. Mm. And they broke away, and I about fell, but my feet was on solid ground. Amen. Which allowed me to reach up again. So he said, Kenny, you see, no matter what you try to do, the enemy's going to try to chisel his way hmm. in your experience. But you, by faith, when he's chiseling up here, get a firm down here. And you know he's going to be chiseling there, so keep reaching higher and higher and higher. I thought, how wonderful that is. Thank you, Lord, for letting it know. You know what? It's been just like that. So many people try to discourage other people yeah. on social media. Mm, yeah. If you're a Christian on social media, you oh, will draw so much attention that you don't want mm. simply for your Christianity. Oh, boy. And yeah. in my mind, that's the devil trying to discourage you, trying yeah. to discourage yeah. us. Mm -hmm. from, from, it's kind of like what you said. He chisels away it's at, discour at, those, almost at those steps that you're standing when on. When he's chiseling, what do you do? By God's grace, you reach higher. That's right. Mm -hmm. You see, because he's already chiseled what you had. That's right. You, so you've got to go up or you just... Uh, if, if I let go, you just fall down. You can't do that. Mm -hmm. But if we do fall down, go ahead. Oh. First John two. Verse Come on. One. We have what? My little children, these <laughs> things write I unto you that ye sin not. Thank you. And if any man sin, we have an advocate, advocate. with the Father, mm -hmm. Jesus Christ the righteous. Amen. Amen. So Praise even God. if we do fall, the Lord's more con the Lord is more concerned with where we are really our wanting to go. Come on now. Our tendencies. What, tendencies. Are, what are our mm -hmm. normal tendencies? Are we always striving to, mm -hmm. you know, and if every once in a while we're going to sin and fall backwards. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The Lord says, I got you the yeah. one you do. He's right. motivated. It's, beautiful. it's a good example of what you said earlier that we can't do it on our own. And we said, you know, we can't. Yeah. You know, that's a, an excellent example. I, the struggles. I want to just encourage people, myself, to yes. to just study into the end time uh, probationary uh, examples that they have in the Bible. The, the story of the ten virgins, and of course we covered mm. Sodom and Gomorrah at one point, and mm. the Noah and the Ark. These are all wow. probationary stories that we yes. need to study into wow. and make them a part of our life so we understand mm -hmm. what's going to happen. And by God's grace, we can do this. Amen. 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 Well, that's a yeah. fact. Thank God, right? Mm -hmm. Well, we got, you know, two and a half minutes or so, and be a good time to kind of bring it down mm -hmm. to final thoughts or something you might have. We'll just maybe begin and go around. I'm, and, I'm uh, always reminded of a little baby when the daddy's call, calling the little baby and the baby's wobbling towards him, uh -huh, and the, yeah. the baby falls down, yeah. and the daddy says, get back up. And the child gets back up and keeps wallowing yes. towards the daddy. Yeah. That's what God wants. Ooh. You know, we're going to, people fall sometimes, but if we get back up and keep walking towards the yeah. Lord, that's what he wants. Yeah. Don't yeah. be discouraged. Don't yeah. allow yes. anyone, no. don't follow the crowd, live above the crowd. Amen. And keep yeah. walking towards Amen. Jesus. Yeah. Amen. I want to share yes. a verse, um, John 10, 9. I am the door. Mm. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved yes. and will go in and out fine. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. So there's no other way? Yeah, there's no other way but through Christ. That's Amen. that door again. You can't save me. 
Only Christ yeah. can. In the That's sanctuary, right. in the, right, there's only one way into That's the sanctuary. Right. Like the way of God's through the sanctuary, there's only one door. That's right. It's going to be through Him. We make it through Him because mm -hmm. of Him. Mm -hmm. be, Amen. Go ahead, keep going around. Somebody else, yes. Um, Oh, okay. Uh, if you love me, keep my commandments. Oh, yeah. The Lord yeah. sets these statutes for us to follow. So when we go in heaven, we will mm -hmm. have a righteous mm. character. That's what we're striving for, is that righteous character. Amen. 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 Good. Um, the Lord loves us so much, He sent His only Son to take our place on the cross. Yes. Yeah. What love, huh? If Amen. I want to be in heaven to experience the kind of love yes. for eternity. Mm. The kind of love that Jesus exhibited yes. on the cross. Amen. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I want to share Revelation 22, 17. Okay. And the Spirit and the bride say, Come. And let him that heareth say, Come. And let him that is a thirst come. Mm -hmm. And whosoever will, let him take of the water of life freely. God is asking, He's doing, He's pleading. Mm. He just says, Come. Amen. Thirst for him, hunger Amen. for him, Amen. want him. Amen. Aren't those words really? Think about just beautiful. Mm -hmm. When you you just picture when you're talking about the the child and baby and trying to walk and and, and daddy or mommy's hands are out there, such an encouragement mm -hmm. for baby want to get up and to God's reaching out to you right now, the hands mm -hmm. right now, He can hold you no matter what you're going through. God's going to be there for you. Just just call on His name. Thank you for joining us here on Family Worship. We look forward to seeing you next time. Amen. Amen.